per rispettare il tuo vicino che così può rispettarti anche lui. Basta che c'è una stanza che sono proprietà, due o tre stanze che sono... Poi i miei bambini crescono, vanno avanti con la sua scuola. E di farli seguire una strada giusta, di, non, di avere la volontà di non tornare più nei campi. From the village to the solidarity city. Journeys of social inclusion for Roma families. The advancement and the development of every single person must mutually stimulate the advancement and the development of other people. Everyone learns better if in relation to others. It is not enough to live together in the society. This society must continuously be created by everyone together. The aim of our project is to offer families an experience of housing hospitality, no longer in uncertain conditions, to create the chance to reflect on one's own migratory project, to experiment a process of cultural contamination to identify the best way for each family unit to find its place in today's Italian socio-cultural framework or to return to its native country. Together with each family unit or in large family, we perfect an educational project which keeps into consideration the age of the individual, his rights and the developmental duties in relation to his family needs. For each one of them are carried out processes aimed at the growth and the consolidation of abilities in order to encourage better conditions of introduction among same level people and into different life situations and are also laid the foundations for effective social, housing, working and living self-sufficiency. Life in the village also features the constant interaction between Roma guests, other guests housed at the facilities within the farmhouse and Italian and foreign social workers. This enables everyone, together, to experience consistent contamination of life projects, habits and cultural assumptions. Often, as social workers, it happens to remind ourselves and the Roma guests that we are pioneers searching possible paths for multi-ethnic cohabiting and social welfare. This is a responsibility which must make us proud and aware of the fact that what we experiment amongst us will also affect our present and the future of our kids. Qua siamo con i nostri figli, stanno bene, vanno a scuola, io vado a lavoro, stiamo più bene. Poi siamo venuti a CEAS che è stato l'ultimo diciamo, passo e poi siamo riusciti di andare alla casa. La vita del campo era una vita che non lo voglio tornare più. The assembly represents the weekly meeting of our village and it is the chance for the adults to verify the situation in life in the courtyard, the topics of sharing the same living space and the aspects of practical and organizational management, cleaning, cleaning sheds, visitor re-entry, etc. But also the debate over specific topics. The coordinator is at the head of the meeting, the social workers take part in turns and the intermediary acts as a facilitator of culture and linguistic understanding. At the beginning of the meeting, the agenda is set, which is made up of more topics proposed by both the social workers and the guests. The focus of the social workers aims at actively engaging the guests, encouraging them to express their opinions, considering both the female and the male points of view, stimulating the decisional processes and the acceptance of responsibilities about the decisions made. Sì, io lavoro a casa della carità e sono la... sono coca. Quando non lavori non c'hai soldi, è difficile. Sto cercando il lavoro di quasi un anno. The group in the operational methods of the village represents one of the most important tools. It can be a family group, a group made up of same type of people, or same age group, or even a group of people who share same topic interests. This setting allows us to overcome the relationship obstacles which might come up between the guests and the social workers. It also makes it easier to control dynamics of individualism and selfishness and manage the communication flow in a more transparent way. It is an important tool to boost learning, comparison and cohesion between families.
The Italian course and the one of literacy is meant for the women, semi-illiterate in most cases. The volunteers lay out the activity by giving great importance to the person helping her acquire the base learning tools and ease the conversation time. The scope of the activity is to improve the skills of comprehension, expression, reading and writing needed for everyday life and for the work environment in order that all participants might gain a quick benefit from it. For the unemployed men instead, with two highly qualified and professional volunteers, has been laid out a cycle of work-related groups to analyse the current context and to assess the real working possibilities of our guests. Through comparison amongst the men, have been improved some linguistic skills, taught new information, removed some false beliefs and highlighted some singularities of the Italian work context compared to the Romanian one. We have also discussed the needs of investing on a learning plan in order to gain qualification, a target not achievable by the current family chiefs but necessary for their kids. Trovo un lavoro facilmente se studio e neanche io per questo l'ho portato qua, me l'ho messo a scuola per pensare anche io a sua vita, per andare avanti. Vorrei essere qualcosa di grande, tipo una, non so, un elettricista. All children and youngsters in school age are regularly registered at local schools and the team works closely with the teachers to monitor their educational course and to expedite their integration in the class group. In the afternoons the project offers after-school activities which besides helping the children with their homework also attends to them in a structured manner in order to try to fill their gaps and to help them to gain a study method aimed at making them independent in their study. Chair social workers, occasionally assisted by the linguistic and cultural intermediary and volunteer workers, attend to small groups of kids and twice a month propose them expressive activities to stimulate the kids' creativity. The social workers introduce the parents to the understanding of the functioning of the Italian school system. They assist them managing the relationship with the teachers in reading their kids' school journals and gradually encourage them to try doing it by themselves. su internet, su facebook, giocare a calcio, andare a patinare, giocare a calcio. Sports activity for chairs has always meant a strong educational investment. The youngsters are involved in sports activities, mainly football, divided by age groups all year long. Thanks also to the assistance of Intercampus, which has here its only Italian branch. Trainings are carried out all year round in mixed teams. The elder are also encouraged to join teams made up of external players who use our football fields and to take part in tournaments organized by CHEAS or other sporting clubs. All sports activities are planned at the beginning of the year, also to an individual level and for every child are identified external sports contexts to boost integration with same age kids. The bakery workshop for bread and cakes was born in 2012 as an introductory experience to work suggested by a group of citizens who have started buying bread baked by our women. Bread is one of the symbols of Roma tradition and it stresses the daily routine. That's the reason we decided to invest on this value to motivate the Roma women to learn a working method, hygienic and sanitary expertise, lay out ways for the preparation and boost the sharing of the knowledge among women, which means setting a pseudo-working activity which today is turning into a female entrepreneurial dream. 
It is a change of perspective for the women who offer the citizens a qualified product and they no longer have to beg. It is an investment on their personal importance and a real signal for a possible change. La gente che comincia ad affallarsi fuori e grida, pane, pane, aprite. Il pane ci dà il senso della civiltà, non siamo quei ciclopi rispetto a questi. Grazie, perché hanno lavorato e c'è dentro tutta la speranza di rottura delle difficoltà. Stare in compagnia vuol dire mettersi insieme, superare qualsiasi divisione. Il pane rimette uguaglianza.